What's up, YouTube? You're watching Steel City Motor Vlogs. I'm Derek T, your host. It is Tuesday, October 22nd. About 6.30 in the morning. On the way to work. 48 degrees. The feel is about 34 degrees. <laughs> um, actually it's not that it's actually not that bad i do have my heated liner on it but that's not the problem the problem is daylight savings time is a wrap um and it's dark <laughs> it's dark as all get out in the morning over here um which is the original reason why i put as many leds on my bike as i could I switched out a long time ago when I first got this bike. I switched out from the uh, from the original headlight to an LED headlight, and then I have uh, one, two, three, <laughs> four sets of LED strips. Um, actually, three on the bike and one of them on my trailer. When the trailer is hooked up, um, those lights come through also, but. I have two strips that are on either side of my windshield that were left over. I, at the time when I got done with the install, I didn't know what else to do or where else to put them. And so I put them in my windshield and uh, blacked them out on this side of things so that they wouldn't blind me shining back at me. But they definitely do help open up the, uh, the darkness for me, <laughs> so to speak. And then also my, uh, now the lights that are down in the lower fairing cowl, uh, cowl, excuse me, were, some people tell me that they're just turn signal lights and that they should only come on when the turn signal is on. Mine have never done that. Mine have been running lights since the day I bought this bike. And so I beg to differ with some people who say this just a turn signal light, I guess. Um, and the person that I bought the bike from didn't strike me as a person who would get in and alter a lot of the original wiring or anything like that. And so, like I said, it's, it's a running light for me. I switched those bulbs out to LED as well. And even though a lot of my LED strips, they can flash around in all different colors and patterns and everything else, I bought them for the most practical reasons in the world. They're white in the front and they're set to red in the back. Um, I can do stuff like this picture here <laughs> when I'm parked or at a bike night or anything. You should have seen me on Beale Street in Memphis last summer. I was flashing all kind of colors. I was doing the thing. <laughs> but when I'm on a road on the way to work doing the very, the most practical thing in the world, um, None of that cute stuff, because it's dark. And honestly, sometimes when it's this dark, my eyes will play tricks on me. We have a lot of deer in this area too, so you just really can't go wrong with being seen. Going out of your way to make sure that the cars see you and that you can see around you too but yeah that's the feeling that i hate in the morning when it's this dark i just feel like i should still be in bed somewhere i don't mind riding in the daylight like during daylight savings time the sun is high in the sky at 6 30 in the morning this right here just feels unnatural Still good to be out on the bike today. It's 48 degrees right now, and yeah, I got the heated liner and glove. Um, I didn't put my glove liners on and everything else. I kind of decked out for the to be warm. I have a base layer on and my lighter, but the truth is, it's going to be 80 degrees on the way home. I won't need none of that stuff coming home. You still got to survive the morning commute.
traffic flow isn't so bad at this time of the morning. That's always a good thing. And I'd rather not be around a whole lot of cars coming through this area on my way to work because people get really aggressive through here. That This is a road where the speed limit, I believe, is either 35 or 40, but people have like no problems going 60 or 70 through here and there's always a major accident always a major accident um, I think last Saturday there was a van right around in this area that flipped over uh, I said I don't understand how you accomplish that on a street where the speed limit was only 35 but you just gotta be vigilant and like I said I don't I don't mind not being around a lot of cars in this part of my ride on this road but you know you do what you do and you stay safe you don't you don't live in your fear if i did that you'd never ride right thank you you too Quick stop, y'all. Quick stop. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I didn't do that to myself. Please tell me that traffic was going the other way. Oh yeah, they're they're going into the city. Okay. I decided to take the long way around just because I had a few extra minutes. I left earlier than I anticipated leaving the house. Uh, that was the first reason. The second reason was the way that I usually go is a really dark residential street with a lot of deer on it. So I'm just trying to avoid any unnecessary risk. This way that I'm going to work takes me about, oh, I don't know, maybe six or seven minutes out of the way. Not, if even that, really. It's a quick jump on the, onto the parkway and literally we're going up just one exit and getting off. I was nervous for a minute because I saw the traffic from the street and I thought that it was going the opposite direction, but that's heading into town. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord I'm not going into town this morning. Because that line right there is about 15 miles long. And it's heading all the way into downtown Pittsburgh. And just like that, I'm back on my regular route. <laughs> this is another one of those dark residential streets. You just kind of can't help. I can't really make my way around this one. Got to take it to get to work. <laughs> I actually used to live right around the corner in this area. And I'm talking about the deer would greet me at the front door. Like they would be standing in my yard, <laughs> almost waiting for me to come out. It was, so, it was so crazy and so normal that I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even acknowledge them. And then I would just close my door, lock it, <laughs> and walk to my car, my bike, and get on and go. And, it, and they would just stand there and watch. <laughs> like
Like, I'm not bothering you. <laughs> You're not bothering me. Everybody wins. Still, you want to take your time. Running through here. All right, y'all. Well, after a quick, a quick stop for a little Dunkin' Donut goodness, <laughs> I'm just about at work. I'm gonna leave you right here, so as to not show you exactly where I work. But um, you all be safe out there. I'm Derek T. This is Steel City Motor Vlogs. I'll see you all on the next adventure.